To start this month's project, you're going to need the following supplies for this week. A pencil, an eraser, a ruler, and the oil paints white, ultramarine blue, and raw umber. Don't forget to download the still life picture from the site. And if you need a more detailed list, don't forget to check out the site again at artistrage.com. Don't panic, you haven't missed a step. I went ahead and drew the first apple. Again, don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Go ahead and grab your ruler and place it at the top of the canvas and make a mark at the four inch mark and at the 12. Then put it on the side of the canvas and make a mark at the about the one inch close to and around the nine inch we're making a square so go ahead and connect all the lines to make a square Now take a good look at the still life photo and then draw the apple inside the square like this. Okay, go ahead and grab raw umber and ultramarine blue and mix them together. This makes a really good black. Now put some white down onto your palette and then go ahead and mix a little bit of black into the white. This will make a really nice gray color. Go ahead and dip your brush into the mineral spirits and then dip your brush into the black paint we made. We're going to outline the apples. I'm using a round brush, but you can use any brush you find suitable for outlining. If you find the paint is too runny, don't forget to use your rag and dab your brush on your rag. Once you finish the outline, go ahead and add in the shadows that you see in the photograph. It doesn't have to be precise, this is just what you see, which may be different from what I see. So go ahead and use the black paint and mineral spirit combination to make your shadows. When I want a lighter shadow, I use more mineral spirits. When I want a darker shadow, I use less mineral spirits. It's really simple. So now I'm going to start adding more grays to the painting. I'm going to dip my brush in the mineral spirits and make a runny mixture of the gray. And if I want that gray a little bit darker, I'm going to roll my brush in the black and then add that to that mixture that I just made. And if it's too runny, I'll grab my rag and then dab my brush on the rag.
Remember, all I'm doing is I'm looking at the photograph and I'm trying to decide the lightest and darkest parts in the picture. And now where I see those light and dark parts are probably not where you're going to see them. It's okay, really. I'm just adding more paint and doing the best I can. And you can too, so don't worry about it. At the end, it's all going to be okay. Let's quickly review what we've done so far, and then let's continue on with the painting. So, all we've done is we've looked at the photograph and tried to decide where the darks and the lights are in the photo. And we use a combination of the black that we made, and the white, and the mineral spirits to achieve this. So, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and keep going. Come on, let's go! I'm using white to lighten up some of the spots in the painting. I'm not using much mineral spirits at all. All right, we're done. Leave it alone. Make sure it completely dries. Otherwise, the next step won't be so easy. Okay? Bye! No, really. Leave it alone. Go. Don't touch it.